Kyoto is a bustling city in Japan that attracts 87 million tourists each year who come to experience the history, the culture and the local cuisine. Wonderfully Lost presents this Kyoto travel guide video full of information on what to do, where to stay and what to eat so you can get the most out of your vacation. Be sure to subscribe to Wonderfully Lost for more trending travel guides in less than 10 minutes. All right, let's go. What to do in Kyoto. Kyoto has a little bit of everything, so it can be hard to narrow down the options. From visiting temples and shrines, trying local foods and attending traditional performances, to strolling in the bamboo groves and visiting museums, there are many ways to experience the rich culture and history of this ancient city. Visitors frequently start by visiting the many temples and shrines throughout the city. There are hundreds of them, many of which are UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Some of the most famous include the Fushimi Inari Shrine, known for its thousands of Torai gates, and the Kinkakuji Temple, a golden temple set within a scenic and lush garden. You can't visit Kyoto without strolling through the famous bamboo groves. The Arashiyama Bamboo Grove is especially beautiful in the early morning or late afternoon, when the light is soft. Here, you will find yourself immersed in a forest of bamboo trees, which sway ever so slightly in the breeze. The experience is often described as otherworldly. Another popular location to check out is the neighbourhood of Gion, which is famous for its geisha culture. You'll be able to see traditional tea houses called Ochaya, where geisha entertain guests. Please know that entrance into the Ochaya is by exclusive invitation only, so you will only be able to walk by and hope to sneak a peek of what's going on inside. A must-have experience in Kyoto is attending a local performance. Get tickets to a kabuki, which is a traditional Japanese drama performed by men who sing, mime and dance. Or experience a no, a dance-based performance incorporating beautiful costumes and masks. Banraku or Japanese puppet shows are also popular. Finally, check out the Kyoto National Museum, which houses an impressive collection of Japanese art, as well as the impressive and historic Nijo Castle, which dates back to the 17th century. Visitors can take a guided tour of the castle, which includes access to the main palace and the Ninomaru Palace, as well as the gardens. The tour also provides information about the architecture of the castle and the role it played in the history of Japan. Where to stay in Kyoto? Many visitors enjoy staying in the neighbourhood of Gion, which offers a variety of traditional ryokan, Japanese inns, and machia, traditional townhouses that have been converted into guest houses or hotels. Staying in Gion is a great way to immerse yourself in the traditional culture of Kyoto and to experience the city's nightlife. Another popular neighbourhood to stay in is Higashiyama, which is known for its temples and shrines. It offers a variety of traditional ryokan and guest houses, as well as some modern hotels. If visiting the bamboo groves is on your Kyoto bucket list, you may want to stay in Arashiyama. It offers a variety of traditional ryokan, guest houses and hotels, as well as some vacation rentals. You'll be close to the bamboo groves and will experience the more natural side of Kyoto. You can also stay near Kyoto Station, the main transportation hub in Kyoto, which offers everything from hotels, hostels and vacation rentals. Staying near Kyoto Station is a great option if you plan to travel to other parts of Japan, or if you prefer to stay in a more modern and convenient area. Kyoto also offers a wide range of luxury hotels and resorts. Many of these are located in the heart of the city and often offer traditional Japanese architecture and decor. Some also feature onsen, hot springs, where you can relax after a long day of sightseeing. Finally, if you are travelling with a group or large family, look into vacation rentals through sites like Airbnb and Verbo. You can find full apartments or villas, which provide more space and privacy than your traditional hotels. So, what do these options all cost? Well, the average cost of a ryokan in Kyoto is $264 a night, and the average cost of a machia ranges from $200 to $300 a night. Traditional hotels in Kyoto average around $230 a night, where luxury hotels like the Ritz and the Four Seasons will cost you over $1,000 a night. Whatever your budget, you will have no trouble finding the perfect place. What to eat in Kyoto? Many visitors cite the local food as one of the main reasons they travel to Kyoto. The city is known for its traditional Japanese cuisine and offers a wide variety of delicious dishes to try. Here are some all-time favourites. 
Kaiseki Riori is a traditional multi-course meal that originated in Kyoto. It is a form of hot cuisine that features a variety of small dishes such as sashimi, grilled fish and steamed vegetables that are carefully prepared and presented to showcase the flavours of the season. Yudofi is a dish of boiled tofu that is typically served in a light broth made from kombu, kelp and bonito flakes. It is a simple yet delicious dish that is often served with a variety of dipping sauces. You knew sushi would make the list, you simply cannot visit Kyoto without eating it. The city is known for its high quality sushi made from fresh, local ingredients. Some popular sushi restaurants in Kyoto include Sushi Iwa and Sushi Kamiya. At Sushi Iwa, seasonal menus are created with great care and attention to detail, so you will continue to enjoy great new ingredients each time you come. Sushi Kamiya is a highly regarded sushi restaurant that has been in operation for over a century. It is commonly referred to as the best sushi restaurant in the city. Here, you will sit on traditional tatami mats on the floor for the full, authentic experience. Ramen is another popular food in Kyoto, and we're not talking about the cheap packets from the grocery store. Kyoto is known for its traditional style of ramen, which is typically made with a light soy-based broth and topped with thin slices of pork, green onions and a soft-boiled egg. Kyoto ramen is also known for its unique toppings, such as thinly sliced pork, pickles and tofu. You can even find a number of vegetarian ramen options. Enjoy another popular noodle dish, udon. Udon is a type of thick wheat noodle that is often served in a savoury broth with various toppings, such as tempura, vegetables and meat. It is a comfort food that is popular all over Japan and is a must-try dish in Kyoto. Finally, you can't leave Kyoto without enjoying some cups of green tea, which you will find on every menu throughout the city. So, this concludes our Kyoto Travel Guide. What excites you most about Kyoto, the attractions or the cuisine? Tell us in the comments and make sure to subscribe to our channel Wonderfully Lost for more awesome travel videos in 10 minutes or less.